Hi, a film I watched last night, which I hadn't heard of and was a, pretty much a new uh, title for me, was Ransom, <clears throat> the 1974 uh, suspense thriller starring Sean Connery. It's an unusual film. It was produced by British Lion, a major production company of the 50s and 60s, which was losing steam by the early 70s. And I'd, I'd assumed it had already worn itself out with its final double bill of films that didn't expect to make any money at all. Don't look now on The Wicker Man. But it still managed to pump out this one last film, a hostage drama filmed in Norway. Uh, it follows the case of a mysterious uh, terrorist leader named Shepard, who, uh, along with his gang, has kidnapped the British ambassador to the fictional country of Scandinavia, uh, following a series of terrorist attacks in the UK. He's demanding um, escape and free passage, and the British government and the Scandinavian government are trying to find a way to get him under arrest. Meanwhile, an airliner touching down at the capital's airport is taken hostage by another member of the terrorist gang, played by Ian McShane. And together they are apparently working in concert to uh, facilitate escape from the country. While Sean Connery, as head of the country's security service, tries to outmaneuver them. It's it's a surprising film. It's felt very much of a piece with Juggernaut, another film of that time previously covered in the podcast, which it takes a very uh, procedural um, police drama style um, attitude to this kind of suspense thriller. Connery's character, although he's a security officer and a kind of spy, is much more of a straight down the line investigator. And it's mentioned in expository dialogue that he's married and has children but none of those things are relevant to the story because we're focused on his job as a as a security man um there's a lot of twists and turns in the story um some unexpected reveals um a number of um, supporting actors who are recognized from other things particularly one actor whose voice i recognized even though his face wasn't familiar it turned out he was dubbed by someone who i'd seen in something else um but it's a pretty intelligent and well thought out and entertaining piece of work and worth seeing if you get the chance.